What's up guys, Mercaris back with another CV game. This one will be running with the Midway, and we do have a super ship in here. Let's see. We got a sub. We got Marceau. Friesland has respectable A, especially when it just sits in its smoke. Not scared of Des Moines or Brindisi. Everything else is on the menu, as they say. Um, so yeah, let's get to work. First step, let's uh, try and team up with the Ragnar on hurting whatever DD is over here. Ragnar has pretty good range, and it's a very powerful destroyer. Not really, uh, uh, it's pretty big, kind of slow. So let's just give it a hand here to spot and make this DD regret uh, clicking battle. That's step one. As midway, you have that capability. Here you go. Reason. So we're just letting the... Uh, if they turn, you definitely want to be turning, um, like, accounting for that, right? When you're doing your attack. <clears throat> so I'm trying to plot out where he's going. As long as he commits this turn, I can stay wide here, and then I can time it just right enough. Oh, no hits, bro. That's very unfortunate. Ragnar didn't even shoot him. That's very, very unfortunate. But, it's okay. It's okay. You can maintain. Stay composed. Stay composed. Not the end of the world. Sub spotted. Now, uh, I want to get behind as many battleships as I can. Um, that's my step one. One hit. So fantastic. There goes our sub. <laughs> oh, what the fuck. <laughs> Alright, that's one way <laughs> this goes. Sub player might know what he's doing, so let's drop the spider here so that if he does try to cap, um, he gets lit at least. And let's just go hit this uh, Hanover. I was hoping I'd see the C being capped by the Shima by now, but nothing. Oh, Shima's actually over there. So. Marceau is not going to be a major threat to my allies. Um, just because it has to kite, like, it's not, it's going to be able to harass and, uh, do a death by fire kind of thing, but it can't get close enough to do torpens against these ships, so they're safe, so we can start working on, uh, whatever's isolated. That does seem to be the, uh, thunder now. Wait, did we get a fire and he put it out? I think he did, so let's go for Hanover. As much as I want to target something that's moving forward, like Des Moines, um, the Hanover put out one fire. Oh, come on. We're getting some lag here. Y'all saw that, right? Uh, so yeah. He put out one fire, so it's good to get that continuous damage going. Punish him for putting out one fire, you know? 100% all the time. <clears throat> Just gonna turn out on this one. We got the flood, so we don't have to sacrifice those planes. Marceau is capping. Let's hurt him. Once they see a, a carrier, they're like, open fire. <laughs> Every time, all the time. That's right, keep your AA off. Aww. Da 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 Ooh, alright, that makes up for those misses on Friesland. Hanover's next after this. Big ass guns and down to 49k. That hurt. Okay, and we'll take our rockets out. 
It's good. You just get. We're getting resets here. You know, that's that's kind of key. Getting resets, um, making sure that he doesn't cap because our middle cannot be controlled, as you can see. <clears throat> I think you, Mo, just went too far there. This guy thinks he's still gonna be able to cap, but you gotta run, bro. Oh, this is gonna be tight. I don't think I can hit that yet. Too aggressive there. Okay, um, let's see. Let's go with our bombers. And then by the time that's ready, by the time this attack is over, we should have enough uh, time spent where we can get our um, <clears throat> torpedoes out with another heal. So, they have a lot of low health ships. Now's the time to move forward. I base that entirely on nothing. Um, I just think it's the right time. Nah, I just feel uh, Hanover can't push in here. He's not going to be able to, He doesn't have the confidence to push in. He's going to go somewhere else. Especially when we show him who's the real super ship. Since we're here, we'll hit Marceau. This will be a two bomb drop. This will be a zero bomb drop. Shit. <laughs> Alright, torps are ready. Nothing to see over here for this team. Sherman, uh, he's a good player, isn't he? Yeah, he should be capping. Need a, we should have been turning out already. Was that at me? Please don't get me. We really need a turn. <laughs> oh god. I don't know what Hanover's reload rate is, but hopefully it's 45 seconds. Turn, motherfucker! Woo! That was a dangerous game, my friend. But we did it. You know? He can't. He just can't. <laughs> Alright. Sometimes we make mistakes. It's in the morning, so... Cut me some slack here. Alright, you are should be able to take a Marceau on. So we're fine on that front. Right now, I do want to just drop a fighter on this guy. I don't want him to cap. He knows how to play, this guy. I can tell. Where are you? Someone take a shot. Don't let the sub cap. They don't deserve it. Yes. Eat that! Go underwater, bro. Hey, get, get, get out of here. Get out of here! So we shut him down. Yes! Alright, good. Yeah, like I uh, was originally thinking, we can push up here. Alright, <clears throat> and their sub is out, so very good, very good. Uh, let's use our bombers. Our torps don't have their heal yet ready, I think. Let's actually go here. We need to try and plot for the future as much as possible, so... That's what's in the back of my mind right now. Um, if you're new to carrier play, I highly recommend the midway. Um, the U.S. line in general. It's, it's very good. Gets you a good understanding of the game. Pretty easy to use. Um, it's, it's a jack-of-all-trades type situation. So um, definitely, definitely one of the best things you could do. Um, if you're always kind of wondering what I should attack, read the doctrine that I have set there. Um, 
I think it really does. It really kind of summarizes what I believe in for carriers, um, as far as what you should be targeting. And it's not that hard to consider to think of, um, but you know, it's a good refresher for you, hopefully. Uh, at this point, Demoy is running. Brindisi's running. Conquer is coming in, so he'll be my actual target. Uh, right now, I'm kind of just doing a quick scan for a sub, or uh, the Shimkazi, I mean, because it is a threat to these battleships. Here you go. Hello. Just, that's what I would do. If I was a Shima, I'd be, you know, trying to get on the side of them and doing whatever I can. He turned pretty well there. We don't have to drop. He's got his AA off. We, we got we got time, so. <laughs> So for a better jump, a better angle this time. Speed up. There you go. So yeah, Shima was just gonna have a field day with those two guys, so. Doing what we can for our team. At that moment, anyway. We'll also uh, drop a fighter up here. So these guys can get shots on this Immelman. Let's save our boost. I think we'll be able to get a full strike off if we save our boost. Um, here's a good flak lesson. You always want to make the... You control the flak. You control where it goes. I want it to spawn this way because I don't intend to fly there. I intend to go this way. Just remember, you're in control as a CD player, not the circus ship. Alright, he'll be dead. Des Moines dead. Game's over. <clears throat> um, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys prefer seeing. If you want to see full games with commentary or like highlights or something else or whatever the case may be, let me know. Um, trying to talk a lot through my decision making. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. It's just I don't have enough interesting games, like, or I just don't record them <laughs> for whatever reason. So, uh, it is what it is, you know. I'm trying, though. I'm trying, guys. <clears throat> Midway, all day, baby. Second. Second? What? Just kidding. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Easy peasy. <laughs> 